Hey everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today's style is a request from one of my Patreon supporters and I will teach you how to do an interesting faux hawk style in it. It works on both normal haircuts and actual mohawks and undercut styles. Plus I'm a big fan of versatility and as you can see, this can turn into several different looks with just a few accessories. The most important part of this style is the fluffed out French braid. That's what gives height and body to the faux hawk. Normally it's hard to fluff a French braid without making it all fall apart, but here's a trick. Starting with a section on top of your head, split into two strands. I'm going to cross one over the other to make a flattering triangle shape in front and then add in more hair from one side of my head to the inside of the opposite strand, like we do in a French fishtail. Then split this strand in half, add in more hair to the outside half, and bring that over and add to the inside of the other strand. Split this strand in half now, add more hair to the outside half, bring over to the inside of the other strand, and so on. Technically you're doing a French fishtail technique here, but because you're splitting off such big chunks from each strand, this effectively looks like a three strand French braid. The reason we're doing this instead of a French braid is because in the latter type of braid, the same chunk of hair is always grouped together in one of the strands. You could dye one of these strands and the color would always be only in one strand the whole way down the braid. When you fluff in this context, the entire strand is prone to loosening and the braid just falls apart. In a fishtail braid though, the splitting action means that hair strands are always changing what chunk of hair they're a part of. If you dye one strand at the beginning, the colored strands will break up and you'll see lots of little streaks of color in different places instead. This entails more crossover and friction between hair strands. Thus when you fluff a French fishtail, the structure of the braid still holds together better than in a true French braid. So as you can see here while I was doing all that talking, I was forming the pseudo French braid across the top of my head and down the back. You'll do it this way no matter what kind of haircut you have. Starting around crown level, gently pinch each of the few stitches you just made and pull some hair out to fluff the braid. Do a few more stitches of the braid, then fluff those stitches. Do a few more, fluff, and then eventually you'll have picked up all the free hanging hair and incorporated it into the braid. Stop when you get to the nape of your neck like this. In a mirror, check that you like the amount of fluff that you have in the French braid and adjust as necessary. Then temporarily clip out of the way or use your mouth to hold one of the two strands still in your hands. With the other, split it in half and rope braid to the ends. Attach a hair elastic to hold the braid secure. Rope braid the other strand of hair as well and tie off the ends. This looks a lot like some early Game of Thrones hair which I thought was funny. But anyways, moving on, the final step of the hairstyle is to smooth the hair on the sides of your hair back into the braid so this part is laying flat against your head, and then lay one of the rope braids up that side of the French braid. Use bobby pins to hold this in place. If you have a shaved head for a mohawk or an undercut, this smoothing part is already there for you, so just pin the rope braid up the side of the French braid. If you have so much hair that the rope braid is longer than the French braid portion, Stop pinning when you get up next to the original triangle section of hair above your forehead. Tuck the rest of the rope braid underneath and inside the French braid at this point and pin there. Repeat on the other side of your head by smoothing flat the hair on that side of your head and pinning the remaining rope braid up this other side of the French braid. If your rope braid is not as long as the French braid, just tuck the ends of the rope braid into the French braid wherever you get to them. The easy, deconstructed aesthetic of the style makes it easy to do carefree positioning like this and still have a good looking hairstyle at the end. After all that, you can stop here and admire the French braid faux hawk you've now created. You can also accessorize to your heart's content. You can add in some flower pins and clips for a romantic look, or go in the complete opposite direction and add some chain and hair beads to get a punk edgy sort of style. If you want hair accessory recommendations, I've made a video about my favorite hair Etsy shops, which give you so much room to get creative with this updo. So try it out, make it your own, and then show it off as much as you can, because yeah, you look awesome. Want to see more unique hair tutorials like this? Check out my YouTube channel by clicking the links on this screen, or follow me on Instagram at seawoodplates underscore hairstyling. Now go have some fun doing your hair, and I'll see you later.